It has been snowing since 5 o'clock this morning, about 6 to 8 inches on the ground. But at the moment, no snow. Second and six. Van Egan up the sideline, first down, stepped out of bounds at the 20. Van Egan showed good, good balance. Lyle Blackwood, number 42, ran him out. Left guard, number 73, John Hanna, as he hooks Bo Camper and gets, uh, allows uh, Van Egan to get around in. He handled the footing very well there. He has 80 yards now on 17 carries. Van Egan and Franklin have been the keys, although Tatupu did an excellent job for the Patriots on that one drive when it took them 19 plays to go 79 yards and they came up empty. That in the first half. Van Egan again. Van Egan bangs out to the 23-yard line, and Kim Bocamper, 58, put the clamps on him at that point. A little surprised that we haven't seen Sam Cunningham today for the New England Patriots. Cunningham is a plotter, Sam Bam. He started here a couple of weeks ago in a game that we did. There's the attendance, and I'm going to say this. That's a tribute to the folks in this part of the world. 25,761. It's the smallest crowd ever to watch a game here at New England against uh, the odds and the weather. What a turnout. Second down and seven. Van Egan again. First down as he's out over the 30 to the 32. Bob Brzezinski, number 59, makes the play. Bob, just moments ago, the Patriots were backed up at the seven. Now they've got some room to work with. What's the blocking up front? And Van Egan reading the blocks. This is a, he's in his element. You couldn't ask for a player uh, better positioned than Van Egan to be in a situation like this. The more Ron Meyer, first year coach of these Patriots, scoreless game, 8.50 to play. Tatupu cuts back into the middle, still going, still going. All the way to the 30, down to the 27 yard line. Mosi Tatupu, Don McNeil on the tackle. 24 yards and a first down. The Patriots are doing what they do best. They're number four in the AFC rushing. The Dolphins are 10th against the rush defensively in the AFC. They match up pretty well as far as the New England is concerned. Tatupu making a good run, gets him down, 28-yard line, big play. All they need is a field goal, and a field goal would be a big play in this game. Coming up here, uh, bad weather, cold day. Now here they are on third down and seven at the 13-yard line. Actually, it's a little closer to the 12. They're in field goal range. Want to be very careful here, but they don't foul it up. They'd like to get a touchdown if they could. They'll give it a good shot at it and settle for the field goal. A draw. They read the blitz, but a tremendous job. Collins got the football on the draw, but Baumhauer stayed at home. There he is, number 73. That's why he's been all pro the last couple of years. Well, that's a little something. draw. Let's see if he drops it here. I think he runs into his own man and does drop the ball. And that's the last thing the Patriots wanted. He alertly gets on real quick and recovers it timeout is called by New England with 445 remaining and they're sending the field goal kicking unit on John Smith missed one in the first half will he make one here and break a scoreless tie he's got to be a little disappointed just a moment ago the guy who handles the little brush machine came out on the field here to make a place for John Smith to spot the ball. There you see it, that slash mark at the right of your screen. And he just drove out onto the field, made the spot. Matt Cavanaugh's gonna hold. The ball will be spotted at the 23-yard line. For Smith, the left-footed kicker, activated Friday. A 33-yard attempt to break the scoreless tie. On the way, it's good! has put the first points on the board. A little help from the brush. <laughs> and he booted it through. 
I've never seen anything like that in all the years I've played, Jay, for a man to come out onto the field and clean a spot for the place kicker. If anything, it's psychological. It had to help him psychologically. Right about this one in the record book, the fellow in the red jacket there won't be mentioned, but he came out and cleaned off the spot, and John Smith kicked the 33-yard field goal. He's about to kick off. The Dolphins have 440 with which to operate down 3-0. Fulton Walker, a very talented returner, is back. A high short kick. It's going to be taken by one of the up men and bringing it up over the 30-yard line is Kozlowski for the Dolphins. Oh, uh, they get it to the 33-yard line. Making the tackle was Tim Golden, number 59. And now the Dolphins have got to get into business as Smith has broken the tie here. Woodley talks things over and heads out. They have the ball at the 34-yard line. <laughs> there he goes again. Now, he's he's <laughs> going behind the Dolphin huddle this time. <laughs> he works behind the Dolphins, but out front for those Patriots. Well, he knows where his bread is buttered, right? <laughs> this one will long be remembered by you and I, Bob, and those who have been watching, huh? Tell you. Pass is complete. A nice throw to Doriel Harris and a first down. Harris is in the Patriot territory at the 48-yard line. Mike Haynes, number 40, on the coverage, a pickup of 19. David Woodley, an excellent throw to Harris there. It certainly was. He's got his feet under him. He knows how much traction he has. Another little option screen. Haynes is playing off of him. He's got to play off of him. Make sure he stays on his feet. But, you know, getting back to that, that field goal, Smith had come out and during the uh, timeout had cleared a spot for his uh, foot to plant on. With his hand. Yeah. And that's why the uh, the guy on the tractor knew right where to, where to, to uh, clean the field for him. There was the scoring drive. In trouble, Woodley on the run, throws back. It is complete. That's Joe Rose trying to step away, but all he could get was about three. Don Blackman, the right outside linebacker, number 55, who is very tough against the run that time, diagnosed that play extremely well. He, he really did. It was a tight end screen. They faked the sweep to the right side and snuck the tight end back over to the left. And uh, Blackman made a good play. And I don't think you can take for granted a field goal try to tie this ball game up because Von Schaumann slipped before. And I wonder if the tractor driver is going to come out and do the same thing for Von Schaumann as he did for the Patriots. Well, here we are, third down and nine. Out of the shotgun. Woodley steps up. He throws. And it is intercepted at the 10-yard line. His second interception of the year, and that's the one thing Woodley didn't want to do, was give up the football without the opportunity for Von Schaumann to at least tie this game. A happy bunch of Patriots, indeed. Well, you don't, you don't do these things on purpose, Jay. He was trying to make a big play. Blackman makes a bigger play, cuts in front of him, trying to get the ball to Nathan. So the turnover towards the Miami Dolphins. 30 seconds to play in this game. We take a timeout. Look at the press score around. You know, you know who they're around there, folks? That is the man who drives the tractor with the brush on it. And uh, he, at the moment, is being interviewed by just about everybody in the press score who is headed down to get set to go into the dressing rooms and get the thoughts of the players about this one. Well, I still say it must have had, it certainly could have helped psychologically, John Smith. I don't know, exactly. he still did. After all, we gotta give him some credit. He still kicked it exactly under right. trying conditions. Third down and three. The handoff going to Van Egan, doesn't get the first down, timeout called, 16 seconds remaining. Brodzinski on the tackle and Miami will get the football all right, it is a punting situation. The talented Tommy Vigorito is going to be back to receive it. The short man upfield will be Mike Kozlowski. Might look for a possible safety here, you know. It's, it's an idea anyway, a thought. Camarillo. 16 seconds. And a low driving punt. 
and Vigorito fell down. He called for a fair catch, and hopping down on it was number 47, who was Glenn Blackwood. It was a 33-yard punt, a line driver. Vigorito wanted to fair catch it, and then just couldn't get there. And the ball is right at the 50, with eight seconds left. Two plays possible. Possible. I'm sure they told Camarillo that time, just don't get it blocked, just get rid of it and get it downfield. Uh, our defense has stopped them all day, and there's nothing to believe that we can't stop them one more time. Well, this is a double header Sunday coming up next. The Raiders in Kansas City from Arrowhead Stadium. Don Shula looking out. Let's see what Woodley can come up with. Out of the shotgun. Woodley going long down the sidelines, and it is intercepted. Picking it off, Roland James. And that is going to end it. Time has run out here. And the New England Patriots have defeated the Miami Dolphins 3 to nothing in snowy Foxborough, Massachusetts. Winter in New England. Not the vacation of choice for the Miami Dolphins, especially after they fell prey to a bizarre chain of events that left wounds that even time will not heal. It's the first time since I've been in professional football we've ever taken such serious exception to something which happened on the field. That kind of thing should not occur as a result of somebody putting a snowplow run by the most unsportsmanlike act that I've ever been around. The incident unfolded when Patriots head coach Ron Meyer called on an unexpected source to set the wheels in motion for victory. Snowplow driver Mark Henderson, a convicted burglar employed at the stadium on a weekend work furlough program, rode to the rescue and cleared a small area that enabled the Patriots to get a toehold for a field goal. But I was bewildered. I, I really was bewildered about what was happening out there on the field in front of my eyes. And uh, the magnitude of it never really set in until after he had lined up and kicked the field goal. Smith comes to the ball. There is the boot. It's flying downfield, and it's good. Patriots lead. John Smith puts it through. I don't know whether to look on that as a good point in my life or a tremendously bad point. I'm sure if uh, you were the other coach on the other sideline, you would say it would be a black mark. but. I know one thing, I can live with myself on it, and it wasn't an attempt to deceive or uh, it wasn't an attempt to cheat anybody. 